everybody. So as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. Let us go ahead and jump right into this reading for our Divine Feminines. Please do keep in mind, you all, that these are general messages. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest, all right? Hope that you all are doing well, and in the event that you are not, I pray we can transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of all those involved, all right? Let us go ahead and jump right into it. Let us see you all. We have, I don't understand what this connection really is. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Okay. I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. Okay. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. I'm secretly obsessed with you, and this one jumped out, okay? So, I am working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me, okay? And I never expected to fall in love. Yeah, I picked that up. Underline the energy here. Karmic connection, moving from the patterns, okay? <clears throat> so, what I'm getting here is, some of you could have felt like, Without a doubt, 100%, this is your twin. You know it in your heart that this is your person, okay? You know it in your mind as well, okay? Your heart and your mind are on one accord when it comes to this person, when it comes to this connection. However, a lot of you feel either your person is not aware of what Twin Flames is or they do know what Twin Flames is, but maybe they just don't really believe in it or something like that, okay? But there's something about the connection that although it's intense, it didn't make any logical sense to your person, okay? They were trying to put, you know, sense to it as to why do I feel this way about this person so quickly, you know, especially with this, I never expected to fall in love, all right? So some of you could have just met this person or they fell in love with you rather quickly when you did meet, okay? They're wanting to be better. They're wanting to raise their vibration here so that they can feel like they are resonating with you, okay? Some of them may also feel like they just don't see what you see in them, okay? Or something like that. It may be some sort of insecurity, but that's due to karmic situations and cycles that your person has been dealing with that maybe took a toll on their confidence, okay? Or something like that. Because you care about this person for so many reasons, I'm picking up, all right? Um, but let's go ahead, dig. Let's, let's dig. Okay, I'm not going to jump ahead. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on you caring about this person, you loving this person, you wanting to work through this connection with this person, but because they don't necessarily see what you are seeing in them, they feel this, con how do I put it? Mm. I don't want to say this connection because that's like obvious, right? They, they know there's a connection there. They just don't understand why they cannot stay away from you. All right, there could have been people in their ear telling them that they should. Like, hey, you know, this is not healthy. You think about this person a lot. You talk about this person a lot. You know, this person has you acting outside of your normal character, different things like that. You know, we don't understand what's going on here, but we don't think it's healthy. We don't think it's good, okay? Like I said, other people were interfering and trying to control them. So let us see. I'm interested to see what's going on here with this uh, tarot reading, all right? Please forgive me. I know I messed up. I'm afraid of hurting you. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? Okay. Let us see, y'all. <clears throat> we got a king of pentacles. We have a strength card. So somebody has to be bold, courageous, strong, come towards you, express their truth. Unfortunately, though, this person may be a little, a little scary, okay? A little scary, a little insecure, all right? Person could have a lot of Capricorn placements, King of Pentacles and the Devil. All right. We have a King of Cups here. It could be Water Sign. All right. Or they just feel really, really deep about you. Again, they never expected to fall in love, but they are. They are obsessed with you. Okay. So they are in love with you obsessively. And they don't feel like that's a good thing. They don't feel like that's healthy. To obsess about anything, you know, a lot of people consider not healthy, right? To be obsessive over anything, anyone. Okay. So they're like, what is this? Okay, two of swords. They don't know how to feel about it. And then they might have, like I say, a lot of different people in their head, in their ear. Okay. <sighs> so this person may have been on a fence. Six of wands. Something is coming to this person's awareness here. Okay. 
It could be that they love you, all right? They could have knew that they were attracted to you. They couldn't stay away from you. Person could have even thought that maybe you did something to them. They're like, you know, did you put something on me or something like that? <laughs> You're like, no, okay? I put love on you. Put that love on you, all right? Six of Pentacles in reverse could have been a very one-sided situation where you felt like you were giving more than they were giving, or this is something that has come to their awareness. They're like, you know, perhaps... I have not been given a fair share of myself to this connection or to this person. Okay. Knight of Swords. So big changes coming in. This person wanting to show you different, wanting to do different. Yeah. Three of Pentacles and the Lovers. They want to work with you. All right. They want to show you that you're a team. You're not in this by yourself, which you are. Okay. You and your twin are a team. You're the Lovers. Okay. Soulmates, partners. Okay. Kindred spirits. This is a perfect union between you and your person. If you could say what your ideal counterpart would be like, it would be your twin flame. Okay, they might be outside of your norm, or outside of your usual, what you would typically date, or they could be exactly what you go for. Who knows? All right, if you somebody that's always known yourself, all right. But we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Tower. Okay, so this person could have been going through a lot of stress in life, they could have been very, very burdened. Okay, a lot of different responsibilities that this person may have had to deal with. Okay. <sighs> This could be the way that they feel they were being controlled. You know, people just stressing them out, putting a lot of different responsibilities on them. Okay. They could have also felt like they were trying to get ahead so that they could have a breakthrough in a connection with you. All right. So, now, you know, trying to get ahead in life, trying to get things situated in life, trying to make things right. We have six of cups here, okay? But they do feel very good around you. They feel like this love is simple, okay? Like classic, okay? Nine of cups, you're their heart's desires and wish fulfillment. You're also friends, okay? So they feel like they have a friend in you, a lover in you, all right? Someone that they want to do everything with. Eight of wands, okay? Aw, yeah, this person is going to communicate. They're going to express themselves. They're going to start moving okay i feel like whatever this is that was burdening this person or whatever was weighing them down they're about to be done with it okay they're about to be done with it yeah four of wands because they want union with you i said oh and, and y'all probably like why is she saying all to the eight of wands the energy i felt from it the person is rushing toward you they're coming in you know remember we saw that knight of swords knight of swords is the quickest knight of them all Okay, so this person realizes that, yeah, whatever happened here was on me, and it was on me because I allow other people to put burdens on me and stress me out and do all these different things, you know, put bugs in my ear, etc., and make me doubt what I was feeling for you. But they're not doing that anymore. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, they showed up as a King of Pentacles from the rip. So you two are, like I said, a perfect match. The things that matter to you matter to them. The things that you value, they value. The things that you care about, they care about, okay? And I'm not to say, you know, this is not to say that you guys are the exact same, because that's not the case. But it's just to say that, uh, you know, at the core, your soul is the same. Like, there's differences, don't get me wrong, but you respect each other's differences. You grow and learn from each other's differences, different things like that, Okay. So with the three of swords here and this two of swords, yeah, I feel like it's breaking this person's heart. It's also breaking yours to have felt like this person was indecisive about what they want to do with this connection. They know that they feel, you know, <clears throat> for you. They know that they love you. They know that you love them. They know that they can't stay away from you. You can't stay away from them, but they don't really understand what it all means. They don't understand the whole, oh, this is my absolute soulmate. That's what I feel like a twin flame is. Just keeping it funky fresh. You know, we have karmic partners. We have soulmates, and that does not have to be limited to romantic relationships, right, with the karmics and the soulmates. But when it comes to your twin flame, oh, baby, that's romantic. You get what I'm saying? That there's romantic energy there. You don't have to have a romantic situation. You don't have to be with them in that way if you don't want to, but you're going to feel that passion. It's going to happen because it's your twin flame. So like we always say, you have their free will choice, you know, as to if you want to be with that person romantically or not. But I feel like you have a very logical twin. Again, King of Swords, something didn't make sense to them. I knew they were logical, okay? I knew it. Because showing up as a Pentacles person, you know, as an Earth sign, you know, very stable, very grounded. You take your time, you know, I'm an Earth sign. So, you know, that's just me knowing that much. Then as far as the 
um, air sign goes, everything is logic. Everything is thought, communication, movement, action, you know? So they, they get it very well. They know what they would like to do. They know what you would like them to do or what you would like to happen. But there's something here that they would have to do first. <clears throat> okay, so let us see. Now, some of you could have felt feelings of betrayal in some way. Okay. Some of you could have also felt like maybe this person was just a distraction from what it is that you had to focus on. And I say that because as the Queen of Pentacles, you know, security and abundance is important to you as well. We have the Ace of Cups. So again, what's come to this person's awareness that they love you, that they've fallen in love with you, Wheel of Fortune, and they feel like it's a blessing to have it too. And they feel like it's meant to be on top of whatever's in the way, they want it to be removed so that y'all can be together. Like they want it. It's not like, oh, I recognize that I love this person, but because of people's opinions, nah, I'm not going to do that. No, this person is like, listen, I already, you know, either potentially caused myself to lose the you know the feminine already because of people's opinions and I'm not gonna put a nail in that I'm gonna go and work on that and get my feminine back or you know I was like 2.5 from allowing that to happen because there's definitely other people that were in their head okay there's no if ands buts about it all right now yeah see they have peace of mind like regardless of what these people saying they're starting to understand too that some people may just be envious of like that twin flame energy, you know, seeing two people like this come together. It's a very powerful energy, y'all. Okay. So to see that happen, people may not feel like they have love in their life. They may not feel like they have certain energy in their life and they, they want it, you know, they're envious of it. So again, Knight of Swords coming in quick. Okay. They want to be assertive. They want to show you that they know what they want. They want to make something right. Okay. Here's the thing, <clears throat> they're going to make offers and they're going to make attempts and they're going to try until you see that they're serious and they're not joking, okay? Until you accept. This person does not accept no for an answer or they just don't like to accept no, okay? They're very persistent, very dedicated, they're a good person, you know, it's not coming across like, oh, this is somebody that just can't take a hint, no, okay? We have the Ten of Swords here and we have the Lovers. Yeah, you feel betrayed. You definitely feel betrayed in some way, shape, or fashion. You felt that way. All right. Your person put it out there as if you were in something by yourself because the two of wands is a choice and the three of pentacles is teamwork. So it's like, listen, you're picking and choosing not to be a team with somebody that queen of wands, you can't stay away from, you're drawn to, you're attracted to. Okay. All the time. Never going to stop. All right. You could feel like maybe this person, <clears throat> they just don't want this to be goodbye. You know, some of you may feel like this person, <sighs> it could have been people around them that were talking bad about you and that's what got in their head, okay? It could have been people around them that were talking bad about you and that got in their head and stopped them from coming towards you. And I say that because this is like about back mouthing excuse me, bad mouthing and backstabbing as well, it says, okay? And then we're talking about somebody feeling trapped, of course, but it's a mental entrapment. You're keeping yourself there. Knight of Wands taking action, okay? So somebody could have said, hey, listen, no, I don't know if that's the person. You know, you got all this passion and energy for this person, but why? Okay, they could have been talking mess about you. Whatever they were saying, who cares? We don't even have to look into it because I'm sure you don't care. It's yet people around them that just didn't want them to be with you. Doesn't necessarily mean that... I mean, it's people that maybe see you work or know you work or know that this would work out great. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's people that know that this relationship will work out great that are trying to sabotage it, trying to stand in the way of what you and this person could have. So, mm, okay, we have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is investing, waiting. Yeah, the star card, again, something meant to be. We had the Wheel of Fortune earlier, okay? Listen, okay, Ace of Pentacles is my engagement ring. Six of Swords is a transition, smooth transition, by the way. After having gone through whatever turbulent situation, storm, what have you, you're moving forward, okay? You're moving ahead. This is also feeling like you're being uh, angelically protected, you know? Like there's an angel guiding you, protecting you, because how else would certain things have taken place a certain way or something like that, Okay. Mm. Now, for somebody, this not for everybody, but for somebody, I feel like maybe 
when you think of this person that we're reading on, okay, whoever they are, you may feel like you dodged a bullet in some essence. Because if this person is willing to allow other people to get in their head and control what it is that they are doing, you don't know if that's something you want to entertain. We have the Ace of Wands, but there's a breakthrough here. Okay, this is a breakthrough. This person wants to have a brand new beginning with you. Again, if Two of Wands is making a decision, but I already have the wand in my hand that I want, then I know what it is that I'm going to do. You know, Temperance in Reverse, okay? You may feel like this person... <sighs> they waste time or this person was only looking at something from their point of view and only seeing what they wanted to see with the situation, which could mean that they were choosing to move a certain way despite your feelings. And that is what bothers you. Three of swords, ten of swords. You know, like they moved a certain way to make other people comfortable, even if it meant at the expense of your feelings. Okay. But they love you so much, but it's like to hell with your feelings because these people, I need to make them comfortable. It's like, hmm. Huh? Then you don't, huh? You know, so you don't feel like this person loves you. But again, when that eight of wands came out, this four of wands was as an underlining. The four of wands is here right now. So again, I really do feel like this person loves you for sure. No doubt. <clears throat> they just need to this is just coming from blue you know i feel like your person needs to stand up for themselves okay i started to say it in a different way and maybe it wouldn't have sounded so nice like they need to have a backbone you feel me because if this is something that they want like it says karmic connection moving from the patterns whoever these people are that they are aiming to make comfortable for you are not doing anything but causing chaos anyway then to top it off this person is like doing everything that they can to move around this energy to get back to you because they keep dreaming about you. They keep fantasizing about you. They keep seeing you, you know, in visions and stuff like that. Two of Cups because they love you. So Five of Cups, it's either they come towards you, which they feel like is their destiny. That's something that's meant to be and we can never, ever, ever escape our destiny. Or they be in regret and remorse. So they already know that's not going to happen because if something meant to be, it's going to happen. If so, whatever God wrote down, whatever God said, okay, that's just what it is. So there's no denying it. It's no running from it, even when it comes to you. All right. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Knights are on missions, though. So even though we keep flipping through the deck and seeing the kings, I have yet to see a king come out on the board. So that could be the issue for you. Okay, feeling like this person is in and out, in and out, in and out again. Seven of swords, ten of swords at the expense of your feelings, but in order to keep someone else content. So judgment is here, discernment, all right? I feel like this person has to utilize their discernment, and so do you. Okay, it goes both ways. And here as the mediator, you know, as the one during the reading, you know, not doing during the reading. <laughs> Um, I'm just here to let you know that, you know, you got to look out for yourself as well. Okay. This person is secretly obsessed with you. You're possibly the same child. Y'all twins. Okay. Let's keep it from fresh. If they feel it, you feel it too. <laughs> okay. You may just have a different way of going about doing it, or you may just have more control over yours or something. Okay. Because judgment is here. You know that what's meant to be is going to be. I love it. It says the daily choices I make now align me with my life's purpose. So if you know already that this is something that's meant to be, you're going to continue to move as if that's just what it is. Okay. Um, I feel like that's what this person is doing too. Yeah. See, when something makes you happy, that's just what it is. But this is why there's people around them that are trying to slow it down. The two of you are meant to have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. But there's somebody around them that keeps them in like juggle mode, Ten of Wands mode. You get what I'm saying? That's not good. Ten of Wands and the Two of Pentacles? What about that is good? Could you imagine trying to juggle Ten of Wands or Ten Wands? <laughs> That's what this person is doing to prevent them from getting to you to have this Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So... That's what I'm seeing, y'all. And I ain't going to say nothing other than what I'm seeing. So, <clears throat> Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is, again, like I said, juggling, going back and forth with something. Three of Wands. This Emperor has been trying to come to you for the longest. 
like I said in the very beginning, okay? They didn't understand what the connection really was because, you know, there may be people that are speaking against it. Then, you know, you have the people that don't know what it is that are not twins and truly don't get it because this is what I've seen, okay? The funniest to me is that uh, divine feminine is the pick me energy. So what's divine masculine? The same thing because the divine feminines that I know never put themselves in competition with other people at all. Every reading we do, always speaks about in the event there's a third party divine feminine withdrawing her energy pulling back not engaging no that's not what a no i'm sorry you get what i'm saying side pieces are pick me's people that are not divine feminines that want to get on divine feminines are pick me's but not divine feminine <laughs> divine feminine is like listen i already picked me you don't have to pick me i'm going to make decisions that align with my life's purpose so either masculine is going to come along or masculine is going to stay stuck in that karmic connection and stay stuck on that pattern but it's not going to be feminine you understand like it's that type of energy so they want to come towards you but again where's the backbone okay so we have the two of wands all right two of wands is a choice five of wands is conflict you're not going to put yourself in that conflict you see, three of pentacles is teamwork, collaboration. You want to be with me or you don't. You want to commit to this, building this success or you don't. And they do. That's the choice that they're making. They want to manifest this desired outcome with you despite these outside interferences. However, you have to pick and choose as to if that's what you want. It says my personal value system lead me to love. You and your twin have the same value system. This is what makes you uh, so perfect for one another, quote unquote, okay? So we have the Knight of Pentacles, all right? Again, take your time, be patient, trust that all that needs to be revealed will be revealed. Person is drawn to you, they're attracted to you, okay? But what does that mean? Ten of Pentacles, that's what that means. They want to build with you. They're making these investments into this connection regardless of what. They understand why you have your guard up, but they also know that you're very intuitive, high priestess. So what their hope is, is that you pick up on everything that's going on and they don't have to explain it to you, Queen of Cups, and that you'll keep your heart open for them and that you'll keep the lines of communication open and clear. Yeah, that's what they're praying. They're praying that you see everything for what it is, okay? We have the Six of Cups, I believe it is, and the Ace of Wands, yes. The Empress, yep. This person wants to make love to you and have babies, okay? The Empress, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups. They want a brand new beginning with you. They can't stop thinking about you. All they want is to reunite with you, okay? This person loves you very much. They're sending you telepathic communication, a lot of sexual energy as well. This person really wants to be passionate, okay, with you, if you know what I mean. And to cause with you relations, okay? You're very connected to the earth. You showed up as <laughs> Queen of Pentacles now, the Empress. Okay? Very connected to the earth. What? Yeah, Ten of Cups is the underlying. They're manifesting marriage with you. All right? They want you to rest easy knowing that this relationship is going to happen. When they express themselves to you, they're coming from the heart. They're not lying. They want you to know that they're serious. Okay? They're for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. All right? The star card, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, this is into prayers and miracles and blessings, this connection between the two of you. All right, because you both resonate so well. All right, y'all. So, yeah, we have bands and we have vacay. So, someone wants to make investments into you, okay? They want to invest into this connection, like I said. They want to, you know, put whatever beef or whatever to the side, okay, behind you. They want to, you know, have this conversation, hash it out correct their wrongs, change certain behaviors, and where needed, okay, and move forward. You are going to do the same, okay? It's not one-sided. I feel both parties are willing to accept accountability for their actions, okay? We have big man, yeah. Your person could have been very upset, okay, or they could have had somebody upset because they want to come towards you, yeah, okay? There could have been somebody that wanted to get revenge on them, which is standing in the way of this connection. I'm trying to. <clears throat> giving them more obligations. Giving them more things to deal with. Giving them more things to pay for. So that they can stay away from you even longer. Alright. Yeah. Perfect match. Gut feeling. Soul connection. This is your baby. Okay. This is done. Aw. <clears throat> yep. Entanglement. Confess. Reveal true feelings. Yeah. They have true feelings for you. Maybe they weren't planning on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. But it happened. 
All right, it's lit. Okay, living life, good vibes in the moment. You're in the moment with your person. You're in the moment with what feels good. You're not worried about people seeking revenge, wanting to get back at you and all this other stuff. You're not worried about that. Okay, you know that you've done nothing wrong. Spirit is always going to be in favor of whoever is just. Okay, yeah, we got single, free spirit, many options. All right, a lot of you are single. Again, you didn't do anything wrong. Okay, so... You're chilling, minding your business, okay? It is what it is. If somebody feel away, hey. <laughs> okay. I thought this could be one of their options that was mad, but they could also be single, so what difference would it make? The feelings the two of you have are mutual, it's without a doubt. <clears throat> okay, yeah, this person feels like now that they see them showing you certain appreciation that they were capping or they weren't, you know, being honest about how they felt with them. Or they could have been telling them, like I said, that you're capping. You don't really care about them. You know, she doesn't really love you. He doesn't really love you. You know, yeah, that's what they were telling the masculine. They probably got many options. They out here, you know, don't worry about it, you know. But this person can't stay away from you. And then maybe when they observe, they don't see no options. They're like, what options? This person wants me and I want them. I feel like this person was just trying to stand in the way. They're starting to understand. Oh, shit. Cut off.